General, thank you for your service. We're, we're eager to get reports about how things are going over there, and so we're at a little, little disadvantage uh, in, in doing so because you, you haven't actually uh, been over there in this new capacity. Uh, uh, but let me ask you your, your uh, assessment of this EADS ceasefire that you mentioned. Um, the, it, it was supposed to last um, three days, and the Afghan government then agreed to a unilateral 10-day extension. Uh, this was widely criticized in some sectors of, um, of Afghanistan. Uh, some members of parliament uh, had some critical things to say about that. And um, there are reports in Reuters that this led to Taliban fighters walking freely into government-controlled areas. Um, so can you enlighten us a little more uh, based on what you've heard ab about how this worked and, and whether the 10-day unilateral extension uh, might have, uh, have uh, been a disadvantage for the government? Uh, Senator, uh, as, as, I, as I look at this, first and foremost, anything that lowers the violence for any period of time is, is a positive. There's, uh, there's, there's goodness that comes out of there. It means people are talking. And uh, this, uh, this campaign will not be resolved by military means alone. Even as we disrupt uh, the threats to our nation, uh, there has to be a political component, uh, political realignment that takes place here. Uh, as I'm, I'm, I'm working off of uh, open, open source reporting as well, I understand we've just started the 10-day uh, period, and uh, what, I've, what I'll be looking forward uh, trying to understand is uh, what are the violence levels? Do the violence levels spike, or do they stay at a... Uh, uh, lower historical period over the next uh, 10 days while the government is in a self-declared ceasefire. Um, okay. Uh, well, n when you came by my office the other day, and I appreciate that visit, uh, I told you I might ask you about MRAPs. And uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to, to look into this, but I, I think we, we can both agree that MRAPs provide more protection to ground forces than... Uh, than the lighter-skinned Humvees. We, we agree on that, do we not? Sir, sir we agree. Yes. And, uh, and also, uh, it has come to my attention that Afghans have requested approximately 730 MRAPs, and that it, we actually, the United States actually, has um, hundreds of excess MRAPs and mothballs that are ready for refurbishment. Um, have you had a chance in the, in the uh, days since you dropped by the office and in today's hearing to look further into that, and can you comment for us? Sir, the, uh, my, my comments would be just I did look into it, and uh, what I found out is the Afghans do have a, a number of MRAPs. Uh, what I don't know and uh, would have to wait until, if, if confirmed, to go forward and look at it to see how they're utilizing them, how they're maintaining them, and what is the uh, long-term sustainability of those. But that, that would be something I... I so you, you found out that they do have a number of them. Uh, were you able to confirm that, that um, instead of, uh, of the 730 that they requested, that they are having to use the, um, the um, lighter-skinned Humvees instead? Senator, I, I, I don't have that information. Uh, again, I, I do. I am aware that they have been issued a number of, uh, of of armored vehicles to include MRAPs, and that that'd be one. I think I can come, if if okay with you, come back to you and get you the exact facts on that. Okay, and let me just ask you then, in closing, um, to react to a a, 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 a statement that um, Senator Reed made about. Um, the, the lack of progress over the last several months um, in, in, uh, in terms of our effort. Uh, is that your assessment also, that, that our, our progress has, has been somewhat flat and gone backwards, but, but uh, we're not really getting where we need to be? Uh, Senator, on, uh, I, I've, seen, I've seen the CIGAR reporting as well as the uh, Resolute support as well, and, and the State Department reporting, and there's, there's, a, there's a difference of opinion there. As we look at, at progress, uh, first and foremost, I go back to the core objective, and that is uh, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, preventing sanctuary, preventing external operations, 
So there's, there's, pro there's progress there a as it relates to uh, advising and assisting the Afghans to harden uh, that, uh, fill in some of that space with the, with the, with the, uh, against the Taliban. Uh, I would need to go forward and make an assessment of where we stand there. Thank you. Appreciate it.